Have you ever had one of those days, weeks, or maybe even months where you just can't seem to curb your cravings? Sweet treats, salty snacks, and let's uh, not forget chocolate. These cravings can actually be a result of hormones. So we're going to discuss how our hunger hormones work, how they're affected, and how you can control them so you can achieve a healthy weight and manage your food cravings. First, to understand how to control your hunger, let's talk about the specific hormones that are affecting your appetite. Leptin, this is the satiety hormone, this signals to our brain the feelings of fullness after eating. Leptin is produced by adipose tissue, which are fat cells, and plays a crucial role in regulating appetite and body weight. This hormone signals to the brain and the body's energy status. When fat stores increase, leptin levels rise, sending a signal to the brain that the body has enough energy and should reduce food intake and increase energy expenditure. On the other hand, when fat stores decrease, leptin levels drop, signaling to the brain to increase appetite and conserve energy. Leptin also interacts with other hormones, such as ghrelin, to coordinate hunger and satiety signals. However, certain individuals with conditions like obesity can develop leptin resistance where the body fails to respond to the hormone signals, meaning we no longer have the feelings of fullness and then continue to eat and eat and eat. The good news is we can improve leptin resistance with diet and exercise, but first let's talk about the hunger hormone, ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hormone that signals to our brain that it is time to eat, and this is the most powerful hunger stimulating hormone we have. Ghrelin is produced in the stomach and then runs to tell the brain that it's food time. These hormone levels peak before meals and then drop to the lowest levels about an hour after a meal, working on a continuous cycle. Ghrelin interacts with receptors in the hypothalamus, a part of the brain responsible for regulating appetite to stimulate appetite and increase food intake. Studies have shown that ghrelin levels are affected by factors such as sleep deprivation, stress, and exercise, which can either increase or decrease appetite. Ghrelin also plays a role in long-term energy balance by influencing the amount of body fat stored. Overweight individuals are more sensitive to this hormone and in turn causing a greater feeling of hunger even though ghrelin levels are usually lower in this population. But just understanding the role of ghrelin in appetite regulation can lead us to solutions on how to control our hunger. So let's find out what those are. You might be thinking, okay, I understand these hormones, but what can I do to actually control them as opposed to having them control me and my appetite? Here's a few solutions. First, develop the habit of eating breakfast and plan to eat every two to three hours. Eating regular meals and snacks throughout the day keeps these hormones in check and stable. We also want to incorporate high quality protein rich foods at every single meal starting with breakfast. And we actually have a fantastic article on how much protein you should be eating for your goals and your body weight. So check that out on our website. Next, we want to consume omega-3 fats, and this helps to improve leptin resistance. So this is going to be your fatty fish, nuts, flax seeds, egg yolks, and avocados. Include foods that are high in resistant starches at every meal. These support a healthy gut, so these are going to include foods like lentils, oats, and sweet potatoes, and they also boost leptin production. Fill up on those low energy dense foods. These are the foods that we all should be eating. They are low in calories, but rich in vitamins and minerals, your fruits, veggies, lean meats, and whole grains. And these will help to lower the hunger hormone ghrelin. No surprise here, we gotta get enough sleep. Seven to eight hours of sleep is optimal for overall health. And low sleep, even by a couple of hours, increases that greedy ghrelin hormone and it will increase the cravings for things like carbs and sugar. And lack of sleep also negatively affects leptin levels. So let's prioritize how much we're sleeping at night. And no surprise here, commit to regular exercise. Consistent workouts, the ones that you can stick with, are proven to increase levels of leptin and improve leptin resistance. Understanding the roles of leptin and ghrelin and appetite regulation can be useful for anyone trying to manage their weight or improve their health. Eating regular meals and snacks throughout the day, incorporating high-quality protein-rich foods, consuming omega-3 fats, include foods that are high in resistant starches, fill up on those low-energy, dense foods, get enough sleep, and commit to regular exercise. And those are some very effective solutions to controlling your hunger hormones. 
And by taking control of our eating habits and making healthier lifestyle choices, we can help our bodies work more efficiently and improve our overall health and well-being. For more information on health and wellness, nutrition, exercise, and of course, strength training, head to theperfectworkout.com.